All right, Brad, thank you. So we're learning several more details about what happened after a woman was found shot to death at an apartment complex in far east El Paso. Yeah, police say the suspect told officers that he and the victim were together. They had recently broken up and he denies being with the victim the night of the shooting. However, police say surveillance footage from a gas station and a bar shows the suspect, Gabriel Arnold, with the victim, Kimberly Segovia, the night of that shooting. Now, police also say customers saw the couple arguing. According to an arrest report, after the shooting, Arnold's fingerprints were found on Segovia's phone. It also says Arnold admitted to a witness that he shot his girlfriend 16 times. So we now want to turn things over to KFOX 14 News at 5's Jacqueline Quinones, who spoke with family and friends of Kimberly Segovia, and now they are seeking justice. Jacqueline? I'm near the area of Rich, Rich Beam Drive in Montana in Far East El Paso, where Kimberly Segovia was shot and killed in the early hours of March 27th. Now, family members and friends are gathering at the location where she was taken and plan to seek justice after the suspect was caught on Monday. You know, we're kind of relieved now, but, it, you know, it's not going to feel the same. Esteban Segovia is the cousin of the victim who was killed at the Tres Palmas apartments last month on March 27th. According to Segovia, they believe this was a result of a domestic violence dispute. The victim, 26-year-old Kimberly Segovia, suffered from several gunshot wounds and later died in the hospital. The suspect, 24-year-old Gabriel Arnold, was arrested at the 8500 block of Edgar Park in Northeast El Paso on Monday. Friends want Kimberly to be remembered as the vibrant and sweet soul that she was. And she was telling me how she was ready to make so many good changes in her life. Like she was really trying to get her daughters back in her and like with her over there to Albuquerque and just doing everything that she could. She was like really like the light to everybody's life. Like when she left, to be honest, it felt like everything just got dark. Arnold is being held under a $1 million bond. Coming up later tonight, we hear more in details of the day leading up to her death. Reporting live in Far East El Paso, Jacqueline Quinones, KFOX 14 News at 5.